Hi everyone and welcome at the official YouTube channel of LH Crypto, the brand new crypto broker. Today we are going to make a review for their trading terminal um, and we will find all the simple ways how to trade with LH Crypto. Okay, here we are at their official site lh-crypto.com. Mm -hmm. What do we need to trade with them? First of all, we need to open an account. Well, they have only demos so far. Choose a currency, Bitcoin. Uh, here you fill in all the necessary forms, register, and they send you your login. login. Um, what do we need next? Next, we need a trading platform. And here at the top, look, you can find a trading platform. They can later use this step, um, change the steps name to terminals. So don't get lost. It's either trading platform or terminal. Click. LH Crypto uses uh, one of the most popular softwares provided by the company MetaQuotes, MetaTrader 5, uh, the most updated version. If you're new to, to it, look, here, here they are, video guides. Yeah, here we are. So you can look it up and just uh, learn how to work with MetaTrader. Uh, okay, so you choose a version. Maybe you want to trade from your, your device, then go for it. But I'm going just to have a desktop version. I download it and go okay so we have set it up and uh, downloaded set it up and here we are at the trading terminal of lh crypto uh what do we need for trading basically uh look here you can add market watch and navigator and stuff like that uh first symbols look here we are 35 symbols out of 200 and how many 226 maybe when you will be watching this video there will be like 200 230 240 because they are always expanding the list of instruments um so this uh let's look at here we have sets this one here is a default set there are 43 uh but what if we want to customize it and then we can just take it mm, hide or just delete it, delete, and uh, add something new. Like I want to add Tiffany. I like trading Tiffany some why weird me. <laughs> uh, here it is, add it to our customized list. You can add it and then save it here. Save as set. Good, uh, what else? If you want to learn more about some symbol, you can click on it and right click on it and look at this specification. And here you can find everything you need about this um, instrument, like digits, contract size, spreads, and even the sessions when it's traded. Like for Bitcoin, it's round the clock. But if I want to trade <laughs> the same Tiffany, um, I have to know when it is actually traded, not round the clock, sure. Okay. What do we need next? It has bid and ask for Bitcoin. Look, details. But why do we need it if you can just open a chart window for Bitcoin? Hi, here it is. All the necessary information for the last week or for the last four days or closer, closer. <laughs> Now I have all the information I need about the Bitcoin. Um, next thing we have here is trading. So here uh, it's the set of buttons and also some information about uh, bid and ask and spreads and so on. And here we can click on it and go to the order window. Open an order just by clicking on it. Whew. What do we do next? How do we actually open an order? So we can click here. Mm -hmm. We can click here. Just the same window. We can click tools, new order, or just click F9. The same new order. Just so many ways to open one window. 
new order. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and one more tab here is ticks. This is more convenient for sculptors. Aha, uh -huh. next thing we have is navigator. Mm, in this navigator, it has my accounts, indicators, advisors, and scripts. Scripts, well, uh, beginners, it's n better not to use the scripts. So I'm even I don't quite know what they are for. So. Don't touch it if you don't want everything to go to, do to the dogs. Uh, accounts. I have one account. Oops. Uh, indicators. So I have my Bitcoin chart and I want to add moving average to it. I touch it in, I don't know, turquoise. So beautiful. Look, I have a moving average. I want to add something more. Envelopes. Add to chart. Blue and red, great. Wow, so many of them. So there are too many indicators now for me and I want to just delete indicator. Nope, deleted. Thank you. Now, if we want to go for advisors, well, let's look how to add an advisor, expert advisor to your <laughs> chart. Here we are in this navigator tab Click on it, attach to chart. No, allow him nothing or allow it automated trading or not. Okay, now look how it has changed. Now we have an advisor here, <laughs> but mm, I decided I want to do it all by myself. Let's delete it. How do we delete it? Expert list, remove, close. So brand new chart again. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we need to know next? You need to know that you can customize this thing too. You can just delete Navigator if you don't need it. Boom! The list is has expanded. It's much more convenient now to choose my instrument. Mm -hmm. Why there are so many of them? Sets, default one. Aha, uh -huh. good. Next, what do we need for trading most of all? We need to see our open trades and here we can watch it in the toolbox. Uh, in the toolbox there are only two tabs that you need all, all the time. Uh, the rest, well, you can explore them if you want, but I will show only two of them. It's trade, it shows your balance, it shows your equity, it shows your free margin, everything you need, and your history, which, well, with me, it's only minuses, uh, only minuses. Okay, so uh, let's imagine I start trading. I say, buy, buy Bitcoins, yay. Buy them right now, yay, good. And now I have this open order um, in my trades list above the balance. Okay, now I say, I want to open one more order for Bitcoin. Um, buy again, but now I want it to be pending and I here in this type, I say, let's make a pending order. Mm -hmm. Let's set stop loss the moment when you r leave the deal and saying, whoa, 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 this is too low um, for, well, like zero and take profit. Uh, the moment when you say, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky, I'm not going to <laughs> wait <laughs> when it's going, uh, when it's changing. So it's, let's set it like that. And let's set the price to, well, say the moment when you actually enter the deal. You say, at this moment, the price is too high. I want to enter the market when it goes to, well, like that or like that. Good. And set the order that would be waiting, okay, waiting to be launched. And here it is below the balance line. Below the balance line, we have our pending order. I want to modify it, but I can't. Why? Hmm. I want to delete it. I don't like it anymore. I want to delete this pending order and I say delete. Yeah. Uh, I don't like my opened order. I say, I want to leave it before it's too late. Close. Okay, good. Now these two Bitcoin, uh, where did 
Now these two Bitcoin uh, orders we have here with the date and with all the specifications we need to know uh, about this trade. So um, again, sell Bitcoin. Don't trade like me. I'm always going to the islands. Uh, sell by mic. Okay. Trade. Modify it. No, I can't modify it anymore. A pending order. I want to set a pending order for a lower price uh, with no stop loss. But, for example, I say I'm opening it when the price reaches this level. Ah, it got lower already. When the price reaches this level. But I want uh, the price to close or the order to close today. So, mm, no, I'm not going to expand it for any longer. Or I want to close the order to close uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Good, go there, please. <coughs> Now we have this pending order placed. Easy peasy. Well, if you want to learn more about the trading terminal, I really advise you to go for the video guides provided by MetaQuotes itself. Uh, here we are uh, with only most basic things you need things you need to know about LH Crypto Terminal. Um, so thank you, <laughs> um, thank you for watching this terminal. Uh, Go on and try our accounts and good luck with trading.